So I want to look today out uh, at automata. I was teaching a, a Python module, but this has stopped. And I teach a, a module on, on formal languages and automata theory, which is theoretical computer science. This is like state machines and things like that. Yeah, finite state machines, yeah. And regular expressions. Uh, but today, I think we just look at uh, deterministic uh, finite automata. But uh, what I would, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to give up this Python thing altogether. So what I'm going to do is we are going to implement uh, automata in Python. What is a language? Well, it's a set of words, I suppose, is it? Uh, yeah, it's a, language is a set of words. That's very good. Well done. <laughs> um, what is a word? Set of characters? No, it's a sequence of characters, a sequence of symbols, actually. A sequence of symbols. And actually, this is the same as a list. It's a list of symbols. What's a symbol? Uh, something to do with an alphabet? Yeah, it's an element of an, of an alphabet. And we, we usually use a big letter sigma for, for the alphabet. It's a finite set of, of symbols. And, and often, in, in when we do theory, we often have very small alphabets, one symbol or two symbols. But uh, yeah, that's very good for examples. So let's start with an alphabet, the sigma. You see, if you do if you do some math, we need to have some Greek letters. Uh, that, that already shows that some math is coming. And let's just say we have A and B, our symbols. And our language is a set of words, and it's all the words. So let me write L. Are all the words where A's come before B's? So very simple language. Okay. So like that, some example. So let's say A A. Is, is this okay? Yeah. Okay. A, A, B, B, B. A is definitely before B's. Okay. What about B, A? Well, no. No. Okay. And what about A, B, A? No, that can't be. No. And what about Epsilon? Epsilon is the empty word. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that, that's okay, though. That's okay. Yes. Okay. So let's now build an automaton. So I'm talking today about D, F A, which is short for deterministic finite automaton. So we will see in other types of automata, so for example the NFA is the non-deterministic ones, and we will also see regular expressions which are related to the same class of languages, which are called the regular languages. But today, look at the simplest case of an automaton, uh, a DFA. And, and what's a DFA? So we have a finite set of states. Then we have transitions between states, which are labeled by the, by the symbols. We have some initial states. One, we have one initial state. And then we have some final states. So I start with a state called 0. And since this is a start state, I draw an arrow. That's where I start. It's like a very simple game, right? But it's also a final state because if I if, if you've seen if the empty word is in the language. So let me do a double circle to say that this is a, like a goal, you know, final state. Now if we see an A, we stay in this state. Yeah, because we have just seen A's. If we see a B, we go into a new state, one, which also is a final state. We have some seen some E's and one B. So let me do this turn this into a final state. I may see more Bs, that's fine. I stay in this state. But it could happen I see an A, in which case I'm unhappy. So I go into state 2, which is not a final state, but it's my error state. And now I can have a transition for A. I stay in my unhappy state. B, I also stay in my unhappy state. Now actually, let's look at the examples we had. So how does this work? So A, A. So we, are, we start here. I can do it with a finger. Once we go to the non-deterministic one, I need several fingers, and I think I'm going to do it with markers. But I'm here, I see an A, I stay here. I mean, I continue, I go back here, A, and now I'm finished. I read my A, A, and I'm in a final state. Automata says yes. Now A, A, B, B, what is this? A, A, now I have a B, another B, another B. I'm in a final state, I'm happy. Now B, A, what happens? I start here, B, I go there, A, I go there, 
and I'm finished and I'm not in a final state. So I've lost. Okay, and now let's try this one. A, B, A. Bad state. And this one, the empty word, I start, I'm already done. I'm in an empty state. Okay, so the, the language of this automaton is exactly what I wanted to describe. The words where the A's come be be before B's. So here we are in, in Python and the spider and I want to define a class of DFAs and I do the usual boilerplate. So I define an init method which says, okay, what is a DFA? We have to have a set of states. So I'm going to use uh, the set type of, of Python. There is a set of symbols which is called sigma. I don't know how to do Greek letters in, in, in Python. I think it's possible, but I haven't yet figured it out. There's another Greek letter, uh, the delta, which I also spell out, which is the transition function, which gives, tells us if you're in a state and you have a, you have a symbol, what is the next state? And I'm, I'm going uh, to use a dictionary for this transition function as a dictionary. So we have an initial state, which is the one where the arrow goes in, and we have a set of final states. And I also have a simple print function. So let me define our first automaton. So this is the one where the, all the A's are before the B's. And the set of state is 0, 1, 2. The set of symbols is just A, B. And here is our table, I find the automaton, which implements exactly this automaton. So it says, okay, from zero, if you see an A, you get a, get a zero. From zero, if you set a B, you go into state one, and so on. From one, if you see an A, you go to two, and, and so on. So I've just encoded this little graph as a dictionary in Python. Now, when I say zero is the initial state, and zero, one is a set of final states. Okay. So now we have to do something with this automaton, so let's implement a, a run function. As a run function, so I, I say here's a word, which I just use a string to represent it. So initially my state is the initial state, and then I'm going to eat the word. So while the word is not empty, I'm using my, my delta to say, okay, I'm in state Q, I see the first symbol of the string, and I'm going to do, go into a new state and assign it to Q again, and I also uh, cut off the first symbol. And when I finish this, I return a boolean, which says whether Q is in set of final symbols. Okay, I did something wrong. Uh, I did my indentation level wrong. Okay. Okay, now it works. Let's try our examples if I find them again. So here, we run AA. Two. Let's run B0, AA, BB. It's also true. And now let's run BA. D0, I mistyped. Okay, it's false. Oh, let's do the, the empty string, which is fine. Okay, and there was one more. Let's, let's be complete. The whole test suite, false. So it seems to work. Red, stairs is red and football is green, right? It's a terrible example because Hill's already the most likely. There could be many hundreds of words we could I'm happy again. But now I have to say, oh, what happens if I, if I see a B here? 